What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching. Now today's video we're going to take a look at a trade that we took on the Micro E-mini S&P 500 futures contract and we did this without using any indicators. And the way that we're able to do this is something called price action. Now price action is a topic that we can go into very, very deep and we do have lots and lots of videos on this channel about. But if you want to learn some more, click that link top right hand corner, become a Gorilla Futures member, get access to our free course, get access to our huge uh, 26 chapter price action course and learn pretty much everything about price action. So what you're gonna see in this video is we do get long. We originally shoot for four points, but we do run into a little resistance and we end up closing that trade by hand. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of closing trades out by hand, but in this case, I do think it was valid. Now you will see, I was originally right. We could have hit four points, but I am glad that I took the three points off the table. I'd rather have a little bit of green than losing it all. So that is one of the main reasons why I ended up taking this trade. And as always, if you have any questions, comment and subscribe down below. I pretty much answer every single comment. So feel free to comment down below or shoot us an email if you have any questions. So without further ado, let's jump on the computer, take a look at that trade, see what we can learn and really examine what happened. Let's go what's going on traders so we're looking at a potential long setup here we got about 300 now we got about 200 or so ticks left uh looking like a potential two candle setup here uh now it looks like we're closing a little weak so we're actually going to scratch that uh hopefully we can get a signal here in a moment uh, i was honestly expecting that to turn into a nice two candle uh, we could take that and ride that up to maybe 45 24. I still think we can turn this previous resistance from the electric trading hours into support. So not giving up just yet. Uh, it might just be a few moments until we get an actual signal. Maybe we'll get one here. It'd be a little bit of a three candle setup or scenario. Those of you who are Gorilla Futures members will know exactly what that three candle and swing point scenario is. We talk about it and pretty much use it every single day in our live stream. So we got about 200 ticks left. Let's see if we can get a signal off of this candle. Hopefully this one closes relatively close to its high. Uh, personally, I would really like to buy around 45.20 uh, and maybe ride that up here to about 24, maybe get out at uh, 23, just depending on what happens. So we still, let's see, still looking like a weak candle. Uh, really don't want to get in off of a setup like that. Uh, I know some people will simply buy support and resistance. Me, I like to see some sort of confirmation. And when I say confirmation, and again, those Gorilla Futures members will know exactly what I'm talking about. We're looking for price action. We're looking for one of our go-to signals. We are looking for some sort of market structure, a rejection pattern, can be a double bottom, triple bottom, double top, triple top, doesn't matter what it is. But there are a few things that we need to see before we just get in and we don't just randomly buy levels just because it's been support or resistance in the past doesn't mean it's going to continue to hold as support and or resistance in the future. So we've got about 400 or so ticks left in this candle. Ideally, again, I feel like I've said that three times now, ideally we close up here around 4520 and we can get long again like i said a moment ago maybe back up to that 45 24 23 area uh, depending on what's going on so about a hundred or so ticks left in this candle ideally it closes right where it's at 50 30 and we're gonna jump in order here. submitted order filled paid a little more than i wanted to should have came down here about a uh, a tick under that close but Nonetheless, we're shooting for 45.24. That is about four points. We got six contracts going on here. At the moment, we are down about 45 points right off the bat. Not looking too good. Hopefully, we can get things to turn around. Hopefully, this level right around that 45.18 holds as support. If not, well, you win some and you lose some. So hopefully, this continues to move up. I am kind of prepared for this. Um, this is something that we've been seeing today. Lots of back and forth, very choppy. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if this trade ends up taking a little while. But the good thing that I do like to see is 45.18 still holding as support. So not too worried here at the moment. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself. A little knock on wood. And then let's see, can we get back... 
get back up there. There we go. So we're back in the green. This is shaping up to be a nice two candle setup right there. Alrighty, so again, we get another nice two candle. Hopefully we can, again, move up here. Uh, I do think 45.24 is stretching it a little bit. If we come up to about 45.23 and start to run into some problems, maybe some resistance, something like that, definitely think about closing that out by hand. But for the time being, price is moving up. We're just going to sit and let it, let it do its thing. One thing I am noticing here a little bit with Ninja Trader is my tick count compared to what price is actually doing is being a little delayed today. I might be off by a tick or two at times. So what I'm going to do here, since this looks like it might end up taking a while and I don't want to just kind of blabber on for 20 minutes, is got my trend line in here going to kind of just sit back let this trade play out as always if it ends up taking an hour i'll fast forward i'll let you know how long it took uh, and then we can hopefully discuss a winning trade uh, at the end of this and yeah let's see 45 18 got in here at 20 yeah so i'm going to leave this exactly how it is i'm not going to kind of micromanage this i was thinking about bringing that stop up a little bit but with this range over here i like where i'm at right now Technically, I am negative. I know that's a big no-no for some people, but that's how I trade and that's what works for me. So with that said, just going to move this cursor off screen and we're just going to kind of sit back, let this play out. And again, like I said a moment ago, if this ends up taking a while, the version that you see will be fast forwarded and it'll let you know how fast we fast forwarded it. So here we are about one to two ticks away from our target. So one of the things I'm keeping an eye on here, are we going to run into resistance and shoot right back down? Here for the time being, it's not looking that good. Um, just because you can see we've come up here and went back down, come up, went back down, come up, went back down. And I'm talking intra bar right here. Um, so hopefully we can get lucky and price will shoot up here to about 45, 24 and a quarter. That's what we're going to need. Uh, to get out of this limit. So we're about two ticks, three ticks away here at the moment of really what we need to see. Uh, and again, might end up closing this out by hand just because we've been so choppy today. Uh, I really don't want to get too greedy and lose three points over trying to get four points, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. So I always do like to wait until the close of these candles, about 200 or so ticks left. And you can see we are just super slow. It's taken a while to just get through one bar.
And you can see we shot right back down here to uh, to about that 45, 22 and a half area. So I'm going to give this another second, see what we can get out of here. Just because it's looking like a triple top, you could almost call it a quad uh, with this one right here. And I'd rather have three points than nothing. So we might have kind of missed missed the boat to get out at three points now. So price is still moving up. That's what I do like to see. We're still in this channel. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a correction down to 21. Let's see if we can entice. We're going to come down here and see if we can't get a fill. Tar tar target filled. And we <laughs> we got a fill almost immediately. Was, wasn't expecting that. Um, so let's walk through that trade real quick. For the most part, price has been moving up, but we have been a little range bound today. A little bit of a correction. We went to get a long, and then we had a, actually, we actually got another nice two candle set up here. Uh, we were shooting for our previous daily high right around 45.24. Ran into what I think could potentially uh, be some resistance, and we could see price move back down. Uh, and I honestly didn't want to get too greedy. So, and... Right there, you can obviously see that I am at least, and there we go. So we, we would have gotten filled at four points, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Uh, as I always kind of tell our members and saying to score it all the time, green is good. So I'd rather have three points than no points. Four points would have been nice, but I'm pretty content and happy with four. Well, with three, excuse me. And I had a good valid reason to close out of that trade. Now what I'm looking for, breakout retest. Can we turn... Uh, the mid 20s into support if so then looking to do the same thing over and over again throughout the day so that wraps up this video as always if you have any questions let me know if you want to know more about these signals how we trade market structure price action our live stream in the morning and the tons of other benefits that we've got click that link top right hand corner become a gorilla futures member and get all the access and all the information you could ever hope for so as always thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know and good luck